Hey guys, it's CL, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I make brand new Critical Role recaps every Monday at noon, and would be happy to have you join the party. If you haven't already, please go ahead and subscribe and hit the Bertrand bell to be notified of future videos. This episode is different. If you've seen any of my previous casting videos, you know the drill. I am picking actors and actresses I would enjoy seeing in these roles should Critical Role's Bell's Hills campaign become a live action TV series or movie adaption. I'd be curious to know some of your picks, so let me know in the comments below. I'm going to pick like three or four people that I think would be truly suited for these roles and see what you guys think. First up on the list is Ashton. Ashton has a lot of depth and mystery surrounding their backstory, and I think there's a lot to still unpack with this character. So I wanted to choose someone who I felt could embody the sarcasm, the darkness, and the overall anger that holds true to the barbarian. First, I had Austin Abrams, who, with the correct look, I think could do really well in the part. You may know him from Dash and Lily on Netflix, which I highly recommend as a good holiday watch, by the way, and currently stars in Euphoria. I think even though his characters are mostly cynics, he has a large likability that I think suits Ashton. I also think Will Poulter did a complete physical change from where I knew him in We're the Millers to his new role in Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3 that I'd love to see what he could maybe do with this role. But my number one is entirely biased and I chose Michael B. Jordan. He's hot, we all like looking at him, and he can also deliver mind-blowing performances in not only dramatic roles, but hero films as well. Look at his time as Killmonger. Amazing. Fern needs a deadpan actress. I want someone with a naivety that hides their true wicked intent. So I said maybe Dakota Johnson from Fifty Shades of Grey or How to Be Single. Maybe Aubrey Plaza, who you might know from Parks and Rec or Ingrid Goes West. But I think my favorite is a mix of the charm and the deadpan both of those previous actresses have, and that's Sarah Hyland from Modern Family. I can just see her big brown eyes looking at you all innocent after having stolen not only your heart, but your wallet as well. Oram was sort of easy. There's a plethora of hot studs who could take up the mantle, but I wanted people who had almost a gentle secondary vibe. Someone who could play well as an auxiliary character, a best supporting actor type. There's Josh Dallas from Once Upon a Time and Thor, but I think he may skew a little older than I would like. There's Chris Evans, who I will make any excuse to cast him in anything, he's just so good. Captain America and Knives Out alone should earn him the role. But again, I want that gentleness, and I think I want Tom Holland. He's young, live, but also has good comedic timing and action hero chops. I think he'd be perfect. FCG you could have a lot of fun with. I think their most important aspect to capture would be the dark humor. They've been through a lot despite not remembering it, and I feel like Letters would be the vessel for a lot of the comedy in a live-action series. I think Seth Green from Family Guy and Buffy would be awesome. Hell, he was even in a show called Robot Chicken. I think he fits. I also like Kate McKinnon. I just think she's funny as hell and have loved her since her SNL days. She'd kill it. Sorry, FCG didn't mean it. My number one, however, is Jack McBrayer, who I think most know as Kenneth on 30 Rock. The voice, the chipper demeanor, I think this is my FCG. I can just hear him now saying, smiley day to ya. Laudna could go a couple ways, but the nerve I want to strike is the hauntingly beautiful but kind of strange and wacky note. I like Alice and Brie, known for being Annie on Community. She's another one of those actors I'd just die to cast because she's so talented and pretty. Amazing. I like Dove Cameron, who, despite being known for her Disney work, it was her music that made me interested in her playing something with darkness and grit. I'd be curious in seeing what she could do with the role. My number one is Diana Agron from Glee. I think she's exactly who I picture looks-wise when it comes to Laudna. She's a great dramatic actress. I would love to see her in some more comedy roles to see how she would do, since most of her humor was dry in the projects I've seen from her. I do think Alison Brie was like a really close second for me though. Imogen has a lot of heavy lifting to do. In my eyes, in a live action film or series, she'd be the central character to which everything around the Bell's Hells is happening. And honestly, I had some trouble coming up with actors. There's Emma Watson, who I just love and has that charm that I think reeks of Imogen. But honestly, I don't know if the accent work would be hard for her to pick up or not. 
The other two, I think, is just a matter of age. Do you want someone who skews a little younger or someone a little older? I think they could both kill the part. There's Sabrina Carpenter, who is also a Disney alum that I loved in Girl Meets World. I thought she was the best actress on that show, and with the right writing, I think she could be an amazing star. My other choice is obviously Elizabeth Olsen, who's my favorite dommy mommy Wanda Maximoff, aka the Scarlet Witch. So why shouldn't she play our Violet Witch? I think she has so much range and dramatic acting from Sorry for Your Loss to her role in Doctor Strange in the Multiverse of Madness that she's a shoe in for me. Finally, you have Chetney. I'm not going to bore you with too many reasons my other candidates are good choices. I think all three could equally play this role. I just have a personal preference. I like Willem Dafoe from Spider-Man fame. He was also amazing in The Northman and American Psycho. There's Danny DeVito, because duh, why wouldn't he be there? But my number one is a cop-out. Please welcome to the stage Travis Willingham. I just have a hard time imagining anyone else playing this role. So he's my one choice from the original cast that I think should stay playing Chetney. Plus, imagine Travis all shrunk up and aged in CGI or FX makeup to play the wisecracking woodworker. I'd love it. Tell me who you would cast in the comments below. How different are your choices to mine? Were there any that I was like completely off kilter for you? Don't forget to like the video and subscribe and check out my playlist of Campaign 3 videos to stay updated just in time for their return in January. Thank you so much for watching. Stay safe out there. Good day, my friends.